So in today's video I'm going to answer three questions. First, is One Piece Bond Rush pay to win? Second, should you consider playing this game now? And third, does skill matter? Yeah, let's start with the first one. Is One Piece Bond Rush pay to win? In order to answer this question we have to go back in time. The real pay to win started when Doflamingo and Gear 4 were released. They dominated League Battle like crazy. You could easily get a lot of gems by playing ranking with these units. And then Katakuri came, Big Mom, Blackbeard Shanks. At this point you should realize that this game is some kind of pay to win. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I don't know, where, where, where is the idea came from? Boost 3, Boost 4, they also released Boost 2 if I'm not mistaken. I think it was way back then. Hyper Boost, units that are cost 2.25k gems, expensive banners. <sighs> Guys, what should I say? Yo, you obviously know the answer. Yes, this game is heavily... Not, not 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 heavily. This game is paid. So second question: Should you consider playing this game? No. I'm gonna make it really simple, right? If you like to play for fun, three or four matches every day with your favorite unit, not rushing everything, playing slowly as possible. Yes. If you do play for comp competition, I don't really recommend it. Last question, does skill matter? I've been playing this game for 2 years and I would say 50% yes and 50% no. It heavily depends on which unit you use and such as support percentage, metal sets, hyper boost, boost 3, boost 4 and yeah so on. What do you think? Do you think this game requires skill? Please let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching. Have a nice one.